Our telephone landline has been switched from analogue to digital, meaning these old telephone sockets are redundant. Or are they? Oh, and there's even a deliberate mistake for those eagle-eyed viewers out there. Hello and welcome to the channel. Well, I am a caravan channel, but I thought I'd include this short video because it affects everybody in the UK who's got a landline telephone. Has your analogue telephone been switched over to digital yet? Well, if it hasn't, it's coming soon. Analogue phone lines will be phased out by the end of 2025, meaning these traditional phone sockets will be out of service. All landline telephone calls will be through broadband known as VoIP, that's Voice Over Internet Protocol. Stay tuned if you want to know how I've kept all our traditional telephone sockets in use, even though we've been switched over to digital by simply using a telephone socket and this one meter of cable. Our telephone and broadband provider is BT and their suggestions were, number one, purchase a digital voice adapter. Well, I haven't got any because I don't need them, but I'll use this as an example. You plug your adapter into a socket, unplug your telephone from its traditional telephone socket and plug it into the adapter. And then the adapter links to your hub wirelessly. Well, I've got three telephones with traditional telephone wires, which would mean I would have had to purchase three adapters taking up three sockets, which is something I didn't want to do. Plus, we're at the back of the garage here, and I'm not sure whether the signal would reach the hub in the house. The second suggestion is to purchase new digital phones. That means the handsets link to your hub wirelessly. Uh, well, I didn't want to do that because I want to keep our existing phones. Plus, because there again, we're at the back of the garage and I'm not sure whether the signal would reach the hub in the house. And the third suggestion is to plug your existing phone into the phone socket at the back of the hub. But that's no good to us because the hub is upstairs and we want to keep our main phone and answering machine downstairs. Right, I'll show you the tools I used to do the job. Pincers for taking out the cable clips, a screwdriver for the wall faceplate, an IDC, that's insulation displacement connection punch tool for connecting the telephone wires to the telephone socket. I've seen these on the B&Q website for £4.50 and I've also seen cheaper ones for about a pound and wiring instructions. This is the external telephone cable coming into the house feeding the master socket. Well, the master socket could be anywhere in the house, in your living room, in your hallway, next to a window, next to a door. Well, mine happens to be in the roof space. This wire here feeds all the telephone extension sockets in the house. And what I'm going to do is disconnect this from the master socket, take all these cable clips out because I need to reroute this telephone wire. I'm going to take the face plate off the master socket. And here are the connections for the telephone extension sockets. Here are the connections, two, three, four and five. And while I've got this open, these two here are the broadband connections that go through this Cat 7A network cable that feeds the hub or router. On the IDC tool you've got this hook that you can use to pull these wires out. And then it's just a case of pulling, pulling this out Oh, I'll straighten these two up first, these two that aren't connected. And then just pull it out. And put the face plate back on. Right, that's that bit complete. What I'm going to do next is take out these cable clips and reroute the telephone wire. I've rerouted the telephone cable to this point and I've got to get it down that conduit there and that'll take it down to the wall face plate. This is my telephone socket made by Dieter. It's known as a Euro module. Well, that full square there is known as one module, but I'm going to replace the half module 
that blank with the telephone socket. Most people are familiar with this type of telephone socket. Well, the connection's on the back are the same as the Euro module, it's just a different style. Take the screws out of the face plate. Take the blank out. That's the blank. And now I can drop the telephone wire down the conduit. Right, drop the telephone wire down. I'm going to thread this draw line up the conduit because the wire's snagging somewhere. The draw line's come through. I'm going to tape the telephone wire onto the end of it and pull it back down. I'm going to go down stairs and pull that through. And it's coming through. Here it is. Always got to make sure it's well taped, so we don't want to lose the cable in the conduit. I'm going to put this face plate back in place. I'll straighten these wires up. This is the Euro module. There's your phone socket at the front. And there are the six connections on the back. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. These are the wiring instructions with the colour code into each connector number. Blue wire with white rings to connect to number two. That's that one. Orange wire with white rings to connect to number three. And for completeness, that tells me the green wire with white rings to connect to number one. And the white wire with green rings to connect to number six. This is where the IDC punch tool comes in. Well, this side cuts the wire off. Let's cut the green off. That's the blue. That's the orange. That's made a nice, neat connection. I'm going to pull some of the excess wire back into the loft. I'll push the rest of it into the back box. We've got a deep 47 millimeter back box, which makes wiring a lot easier. And this will just clip into place. Perfect job. And that's my one meter extension wire with a male connector on either end. It's straight wired with six connectors, although for domestic home phones, four connectors is ample. Now the moment of truth. I'm gonna plug this desk phone into my new socket. And the hub is plugged into this phone socket, so I should have a dialing tone. Spot on. The theory is if I unplug the phone from that one, unplug the hub from that one, plug the hub into this one, plug the phone into this one, I should still have a dialing tone. We have. What you've got to imagine is instead of this being the landline master socket, 
the hub or router is now the landline master socket. If your hub hasn't got a phone socket on the back, I would imagine your provider would supply a new hub. Let's look at another scenario. Let's say your master socket is in a hallway or next to a window and your hub or router is stood at the side of it plugged into this broadband port. What you can do is get a telephone socket like this one or if you've got a telephone sat next to the hub you might want to fit a twin socket, plug your hub into one of them and your telephone into the other. I haven't got one, this is just a back box. Fix it next to the master socket Disconnect the extension telephone wire from the master socket and wire it into the new telephone socket. This then becomes the start of a line or end of a line. Then you get an extension wire like I've got. Plug one end into the telephone port behind the hub and the other end into this new telephone socket. And then all voice calls will be sent through to all telephone sockets throughout the property. It's as simple as that. Disconnect the existing extension wiring from the master socket to prevent any feedback and connect the hub to an existing telephone socket, in my case that one metre extension lead, and that will reactivate all your traditional telephone sockets in the house. The one metre extension wire, it's a BT 631A plug to a 631A plug, straight wired six contact, and the D to secondary telephone socket were both from eBay at a cost of £8.50. Here's a few pointers to note. Once you've been switched from analogue to digital, whatever method you've used to retain your old phones. On the day of switch over, you'll get no dialing tone and the line will be dead. But after my small wiring alteration, I've got my dialing tone back. And the distance from here at the back of the garage to the hub, by the time the telephone wire's gone up walls, across ceilings, back down again, underground, back up again, I would say there's approximately 50 metres of telephone wire. So it just shows you it works over that sort of distance. And the other point is, if you're making any local calls, you have to dial in your local area code first. And finally, if you have a power cut, you do lose your power to your hub, meaning you do lose your digital landlines, but that's where a mobile comes in handy. Well, I hope you found this video helpful, and thank you for watching. And I got, uh, got the, um, oh, I forgot what I'm gonna say. Just carry on and then I'll pl glue it together. <laughs> <laughs> and the no 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 hang on wait now now